Greetings, this is Chris Hochul. Welcome to episode number 13. Today I'm going to talk about pretty much you as the person. And are you a consumer or an investor? A lot of people don't pretty much analyze themselves when they're doing their day-to-day -day job or their day-to-day -day life. But really, are you a consumer or an investor? Have you even asked yourself that? If you do a lot of shopping and you are particular, very particular on getting the best deals, then you're more an investor because that's what investors do, look for the best opportunity. Just like if you're going grocery shopping, you look for the best opportunity. So yeah, definitely I would say you are an investor. But if you just go and wing it and buy whatever's out there, then you're more of a consumer. And there's a lot of people today that are consumers. And what we need to do is stop being consumers and be investors through everything we do, from shopping for groceries, from buying cars, clothes, whatever. Do your due diligence and make sure you get your most value for your buck. And the reason why I'm really addressing this is because a lot of people who are claim to be investors or are investors, I'm not even trying to talk bad on anybody. However, they just don't analyze and do their due diligence. They buy whatever that looks hot for the second instead of saying, well, let me see what else is available. And right now it's a buyer's market. So you should definitely see what's out there and analyze everything and be, and be more of an investor, period. And this is not only just for people who do real estate investing, but it's also for people who shop around, who, who does the day-to-day -day buying. Be an investor about what you're buying. Make sure you get the va best value for your money because a dollar ain't what it used to be, but make sure you're getting as much as you can for that dollar, you know? So I would say that's one of the biggest things I see now there's more people being more, more, more and more consumers and wonder why they don't have any money left over the month because they're not valuing their dollar when they go grocery shopping, when, when they go out, you know, when you go to the show. You're not trying to, you know, precisely do what you need to do. You're trying to just do what you can do. Instead of putting a game plan down, investigating, spending a little time to make sure you're getting the best value and go from there. And I bet you if you do that and you incorporate that into your lifestyle, you're good. If not, you're going to be a consumer. And unfortunately, you're going to, you're going to be losing more than you're gaining. You know, trust me, if you're working a job, which is just over broke, you're trading hours for dollars. And the work you're putting in, you're probably getting paid less than what you're worth. So why not make sure you're spending as much value for your dollar also? At least balance it off somehow and if you're in a, if you are a person at work and you're investing in the stock market and other things make sure you do your due diligence make sure you verify exactly what you're getting and also i would say look at other avenues because right now the way the stock market going mutual funds you're not you're not an investor you're more a consumer because they are not giving you anything back that you deserve for your hard-earned money so I would definitely tell you to analyze, do your due diligence, and be an investor throughout your whole life, not just for investments or real estate, everything. Start being more critical and making sure you're getting the best opportunity for your money. It's just a tidbit I wanted to spread out today. I talked to a couple people, and they had the mentality of being a consumer. And I know a lot of people that do that are not even investors, and if they are, they still have that same mentality. So make sure you're getting the most for your money and be an investor throughout your whole life. Don't be a consumer. Please, stop it. Let's change everybody's life one, one day at a time and turn and everybody be investors. It'll be a better world. <laughs> That's my tidbit for the day. Feedback is always welcome. Once again, this is Chris Holcomb, episode 13. Let's be investors, stop being consumers, and I'll see you on the next episode.